Welcome, racing fans, to Motorsports Radio Channel MR2, home of Motorsports Talk, and we're going to be talking about uh, NASCAR Xfinity Series, uh, race notes from uh, the uh, Saturday race, which was the Zippo 200, so we'll get right into that, 82 laps, 209.9 miles, Joey Logano behind the wheel of the number 12 Ford, the pole sitter, also the winner, on Saturday, teammate Brad Keselowski driving the number 22 for it started in second, and starting third was Paul Menard in the number 2 Chevrolet. Green flag drops at 2.23 p.m. Eastern time with the 12 to 22 2 in the top 3, and the number 42 starting in fourth, Kyle Larson. Kyle Larson up to third after the drop of the green flag. Motorsports Radio top 3 at lap 3. Joe Logano, Brad Keselowski, Kyle Larson. 12, 22, 42, top 3. Three lap four, Logano Koslowski and Kyle Bush. 12, 22, 18. Larson down the fourth, Paul Menard running fifth. Russ Chest Hain gets loose off the course at the inner loop, also known as the bus stop. No caution. Uh, Kyle Bush moves up the second at uh, uh, lap eight. Koslowski down the third, Logano still in first. Logano at lap nine with a one and a half seconds on Kyle Bush. The 07 gets loose also at the bus stop area. Logano also gets loose in the same area. Uh, and then there was question number one. 07 was Ray Black Jr. He was running 36th at the time. Question one, lap 10 for debris, dirt and grass. Kyle Bush uh, is, um, issues on pit road. He he was over 20 seconds on pit road during this question. Restart lap 12. Joe Logano, Brakislavski back in second and uh, Kyle Larson back in third, 12, 22, 42. And old man Kyle Bush drops down to 34th. He would wind up dropping out on Saturday. And man, the Keslowski flying off course at turn two after contact from Kyle, uh, Kyle Larson. And then uh, the 90 and the 77 go around, uh, a delayed caution, and it would have stayed green, but the 77 car stalls and wouldn't refire. Uh, the 90, Todd Bodine, a 77, TJ Bell, restart lap 18 with a top three of Daniel Suarez, Ty Dillon, and Trevor Bain. So now it's the 9, the 3, and the 6, and question 3 comes out lap 18 with a wreck. Uh, back of the field, bunch of cars, early, uh, early day for Kyle Bushman, only got to lap 18. In the 18 car. <laughs> So the cars involved in this one, the 14, the 90, the 18, and the 6. 14, Tommy Dreesey, uh, Todd Bodine, Kyle Busch, Darrell Wallace Jr. Red flag is displayed. Also, a Nicholas Hammond in the 74 Dodge uh, was involved as well. Usually, Mark Harmon drives the 74 Dodge. Uh, so, um, oh, and I think the 44 also, J.J. Yale. He finally backed Yale after a very long red flag restart. Um, Lap 22, and we're back in business. Ty Dillon, Trevor Bain, and Brian Gall in the top three now. The 3 to 60 and the 62. Logano, lap 23, climbs back into third. So now you have the 3 to 60 and the 12. Logano up to second. Trevor Bain down to third. Logano goes for the lead. So now you got the 12, the 3, and the 60. A Ford, a Chevy, and a Ford. Logano with a 1.8 second lead on Ty Dillon. Uh, Logano, top five, lap 25. Logano, Ty Dillon, Trevor Bain, Kyle Larson, and Brad Keselowski, 12, 3, 60, 42, and the double two. Um, so, now Logano restarted in seventh out of the rest last restart. Now, lap 29 uh, ha is the first round. Green flag pit stops. Ty Dillon first to pit. Drivers aren't really pouring in. They were kind of trickling in. Uh, and then the 22 and the 60 make contact lap 30. The 30 spins and saves it. Uh, uh, and... Of course, uh, and uh, but didn't hit any wall. So a spin and save for the number 60 driver, Trevor Bain. And uh, I believe they did keep it green for that. But then question number four does come out lap 35 or something else. The 78 uh, stalls. Uh, 78 driven by Joey Gase. He's sitting in the 8. Uh, and um, Sadler about to enter pit. So we had Elliot Sadler about to enter pit road. Now, we all know, right? As soon as the question comes out, you got that red light at pit road entrance, so you can't get in there, or so you're getting popped with uh, uh, pitting too soon. Sadly, about to enter pit road, but then the question comes out, in turn, closes pit road, and Elliot Tyler hits the brakes and spins to avoid entering pit road uh, with uh, with pit road closed. Um, and 
Now, then caution, however, for the 78. And the 44, Brian Scott, is the lucky dog. Uh, so, now, also, if you do pass the commitment error and come and cut out, cut out. So, very good maneuver right there from Elliot Sadler uh, in the number one car. Uh, so, the restart comes out at lap 40. Joe Lugano, Kyle Busch, Brad Keselowski, top three, 12.42, and the 12. Keselowski up to second. Kyle Larson down to third. So, now the 12, 22, 42, back in front. Lap 41 would be the race halfway mark. Lap 47, second round of green flag pit stops. Keselowski first pit. An old man, 20, number 20, runs out of fuel just feet from pit road entrance. And uh, this brings out uh, a caution for the fifth time. Uh, I don't know who was driving the 20 car. Actually, I do. Hold on. I got full results right here. The 20 car. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Oh, Eric Jones. And good thing we brought back Jones. Now, big news for next year for the Sprint Cup Series. Furniture Row Racing is going to have two cars. 78, Truex Jr., and a 77 car. And the 77 car is going to be driven by Eric Jones next year in the Sprint Cup Series. So back to the Xfinity Series. Uh, so question 5, lap 50. Restart lap 56. Ty Dillon gets a penalty commitment cone violation. Okay, so once you enter that commitment area, you got to keep going. If you cross that line past that commitment area, that is commitment cone violation. Now, uh, some places, some tracks have a cone. Some track will have a little square or a, a line marking the beginning of pit pit road. Uh, but again, once you cross that line, you got to keep going, and that's what Ty Dillon uh, when he came back out into the track at the last minute, and uh, that's what happened there. But the restart lap 56, Daniel Suarez, Kyle Larson now in second, and Joe Logano in third. The 1942 and the 12, Bart Keselowski is running in fourth. Then Logano takes the lead, 12, 19, 22, top three. Logano, Suarez, Keselowski. Uh, now, the 12, 12, uh, 12, 22, 19, as Keselowski climbs up the second, Suarez down the third, and oh man, the 70 car hood flies off. This was crazy. The uh, front of the car just blew up. Lap 70, uh, the 70 car, Derek Cope, and uh, and just blew up. <laughs> and it looked like it looked like NHRA when you see the funny cars and the front of the car just blows up. That's what this looked like. And uh, and the parallel from I think the tires what came out and it and he hit the brakes because he missed the turn at the bus stop area at the inner loop. So he hit the brakes, and uh, the tires went, and the whole hood blew off. So Derek Cope in the 70 car. Um, and so that was at lap 58. That would be question number six. Uh, so, so restart comes out at lap 61. Joe Legato, Brian Keselowski, Daniel Suarez, 12, 22, 19, the top three. And uh, Derek Cope's car was actually impounded by NASCAR so they could figure out what happened now. I didn't hear nothing yet. It's still early. Uh, hopefully by midweek we'll get some news. Because usually by midweek we, uh, a lot of post-race stuff comes out. Um, so now, uh, that, lap 61 to 62, Paul Menard back in third. So the 12, 22, and the 2 top 3. 61, lap 61, and just lap 62. Daniel Suarez in fourth. Kyle Larson sixth. And only two tenths of a second separating the two, the 12 and the 22. Uh, then the 21 spins lap 63 at the contact from the number 3. 21 Spencer Gallagher, 3 Ty Dillon. No caution, but it was all about the 12 and the 22 as the race winds down. Always fun when you see two teammates battling for a win. Lap 72 starts the last 10. And oh man, Keselowski trying to get in front of Joey Logano. But man, Logano not let him get by. And then some smoke coming out of Keselowski's 22 car. A bounce off a curb and snaps the track bar. And now Logano with a three second lead on Brad Keselowski with seven laps to go. And now crazy smoke coming out of that 22 car. And uh, 22 comes in to pit. Now the top three at lap 76 with six laps left. Logano, Pulminar, and Daniel Suarez. 12. Uh, the 12, 2, and the 19. 21 spins, no caution. Again, then Keselowski on pit road. Pit road penalty for driving through too many pit stalls. 
has to serve a pass to, then back to pit road again. And uh, this was it for the 22. Uh, the white flag would flat lap 81 with Logano, Pulmonard, Kyle Larson in the top three, 12, 2, 42. Checkered flag flies at lap 82. And Joe Logano comes in for the win off the pole. Pulmonard finishes second, Kyle Larson third, Daniel Suarez fourth, and Trevor Bain in fifth. The 12, 2, 42, 19, and the 60. And we'll have the full results for all the drivers uh, coming up in a little bit. Channel MR5 as we do on Mondays. And a 25th career win for Joey Logano in the NASCAR Xfinity Series. First team for Team Penske in NASCAR Xfinity Series for 2016. Motorsports Radio Race Info. Five leaders, eight lead changers. Top speed, 122.826 miles per hour. Fastest lap time is was 71.809 seconds. Six questions with 18 yellow flag laps. Race length, 2 hours, 33 minutes, and 20 seconds. Next NASCAR Xfinity Series race this Saturday. The only race this weekend. Everybody else has off, including Na- uh, Sprint Nose. None. Just Xfinity Series. That's it. And that's going to be August 13th from Mid-Ohio. And we will have the full schedule information on Thursday on Motorsports Radio's Weekend Edition. Thank you for tuning in from uh, Long Island, New York. This is Manny Allegretta, and this is Motorsports Radio. Community Radio, L-I, dot com.